before the chaos starts, I thought I would quickly give you a update on the library. Last time you saw it, you'd have seen loads of all of his toys over here. And around here, but we've kind of made it a lot more like a home. I mean, look, he's still got his table, his tablet and things, but, yeah, he needs that. And we've put one of all of his toys around here. So, um, he's got his own little playroom. And we've just kind of got our living room back. I mean, there's some bits in here, obviously. But, I mean, Barney's cage, Barney's toys. There's some ornaments. We've got our mantelpiece back. And these sunglasses, I don't actually know whose they belong to, so they're just living there for the minute until we figure it out. Someone has been to our house lately. <laughs> You've got some sunglasses, they might be yours. Sorry, I've literally, it's like half six in the morning. I thought I'd quickly do this before Oliver gets too many toys out, Barney's running around. And like I said, he's got his table, so he has lunch here, dinner here, or any food he has here. He sometimes sits here, watches his tablet and watches the TV. And there's just got a couple of big toys on here that he sometimes just sits and plays with. He's got his car that he'll probably get out any time now because he loves it, his bag. He's always putting a bag over his head. Not over his head, but like around his neck, around his body. And I could, couldn't figure out why because I always wear a backpack and my mum doesn't really carry a bag and she does again, that's a backpack. But we realised Mr. Chumble, or Justin, always has his spotty bag. And he absolutely loves Justin. So we think that's got to be the reason why he loves a bag. Which um, is quite interesting. I've got his Lego that sometimes I get things out with. Again, we've got some ornaments. This is lit up at night to get some light, which is really nice. It's done for a train thing. We're something out the way. And the cat tree. And we've just got some things back. Oh, the slippers. I need to find them in a minute. They're just there, so uh, it's easy for me to get to. Here's water, again, and all of watching TV. Here's chair. So it just looks a lot better. I said, this table's still in sorting out a bit. Um, this is Barney's treat bag and poo bag, so turn that out and we'll go for a walk. Um, but I was just in here because I was it up in the kitchen and put it here, didn't actually put it away, as you do. And so this all still needs tidying up a bit. It's kind of a bit like my office. I've got photos I need to go into albums. But over the next few days, I'm going to tidy all this away and find a home for it all. Um, and I've just kind of got his arts and crafts over here now. All this stuff's going on eBay, or is on eBay, so hopefully that will go soon. And I've just got all his toys here. Again, I still need to go through them all and have a good clear out so that everything kind of has more of a home. But, um, at the minute it's kind of organised chaos, but yeah, I need to, or I need to get like another one of these plastic boxes to put more bits in. I haven't quite figured that situation out yet, but when I'm back from my dad's then I'll figure all that out. And then, he just got his tiny tubbies, his tool station, and some other games that he loves to play with. That's how it's looking at the minute. Hopefully, like I said, once I'm back, I'm going to go through toys. Hopefully, I can get rid of quite a few things that he's not going to need anymore. Ready in time for Christmas. And, um, yeah, just tidy all of this away somehow and come up with an actual plan for it. I've done a, his room just to show sort of how small it is and why this can't all go in his room. Just because it's basically a box room. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you. I mean, putting the rug back down, he had this when he was um, a baby for him to like roll on and just something for him to lay on to have like tummy time and everything. He had the play gyms and stuff, but 
He got to the point where when he was trying to play, he just kept getting in the way. So he picked it up and now he's all bold enough. He just loves running up and down on it. And that's made such a difference having that back and making it look more cosier. So now whenever he goes to bed, it's like, oh, and it's a balloon. <laughs> now when um, Oliver goes to bed, it's like, oh, everything's put away. And it's like, oh, adult time again. It's, it's nice. Wednesday. I feel like most vlogs I'm actually starting in my room at the minute before I've done my makeup but it's the start of my day so hope you're all well how are you all you're having a good week we've been quite ill this week but um we're sort of over it now Oliver's had like the worst cold because I was constantly streaming for the first time ever he was just sitting on the sofa and just sitting there snuggle watching telly which he never does he's always running around normally and just being a normal um one year old really today's plan is to what do i need to do we're packing today to come away so i need to do some washing go up in the loft get down okay so i get down two just like the small ones one for me one for oliver so that when We've used clothes, they can go in one case, so we've got like a dirty case and a clean case and just so we don't not getting all muddled up and everything. Um, I need to, like I said, pack. I've written a list, I need to go as done, get some stuff for the journey. And it's probably about three, three and a half hours. I mean, my plan is to stop in the services down the M4 to stop there and I'm thinking to park at the back you know where the dog walkers go and go in go toilet get myself a coffee do all that and then come out and then have a picnic on the grass so Oliver can run stretch his legs and I can sit there and just kind of enjoy my coffee but that's provided it doesn't rain if it rains obviously um, he'll just be probably running around the backseat of my car. But either way, that's the plan. I'll just stop somewhere down there, get a coffee and just stretch our legs. I mean, if it is raining, we might just walk up and down in the services a few times just so he can, like I said, just stretch his legs. He gets irritable being in the car too long and I don't blame him, you know. He just wants to get out and play and see where we're going and everything. So and that's the plan, to have a picnic. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't rain and we can do that because that would be really nice. Also, is anyone else getting the worst skin from wearing face masks? I've heard that the silk ones help your skin. But mine just constantly breaking out at the minute, roughly like where the, obviously over the, nose, the face mask goes. My skin is just getting so bad. And every time I start to clear it, it breaks up again. So, that's something we're going to have to live with for a while. And excuse the state of my hair, I'm all ready to go and put my makeup and everything on. I just thought I'd jump on first and say hey. Start this vlog off. I'm in a natural state at the start of the day. And I will catch up with you all later. I thought I'd also give you a quick overview of Oliver's room because I get so many of you asking about it. So I thought I'd give a quick overview. It's not very big, which is why all of his toys were downstairs. I mean, this is pretty much it. These are all mine. <laughs> All my snow globes, I don't know where to put them, so I just put them up there. Because before this was Oliver's room, this was a spare room. He's also got a picture that his cousin drew him. And another one, I can get to it, that his other cousin drew him. Fun fact, um, anyone that knows that cat Oliver and Company is the reason... Oliver's called Oliver, I come up with the name. I'm a huge Disney fan, so I wanted um, 
a Disney name. And I love the film Oliver and Company. I actually got him the Oliver cat as well. <laughs> and he absolutely, absolutely love that film, which is why his cousin drew him that picture. And he's got that and he loves going in his drawers and taking everything out and moving everything around. So he's got like his pajamas and here his vests. Apparently play clothes this. My sister gave me a load of nappies. I couldn't figure out which size this was, so I've just left it on the side until I figure it out. He's got his nightlight, a Mickey Mouse, just some yeah. nappies, a ukulele which has fallen down. There we go, his camera, some odd socks that I'm trying to find the other ones too. And some fluffy socks, he's always ending up with wet feet. I don't know why. And then in here, he's got his play clothes. So we'll just play clothes and then spare bedding and blankets in here, which, believe it or not, was tidy. And then Oliver's just got some Disney things, his toy box, his wardrobe, and a chair that to sit on, his bed. He can't sit without a blanket or his Dumbo. I got him this in Disney World. I actually got him a Winnie the Pooh one first because he was so sweet with Winnie the Pooh. Absolutely loved him. So I got him a Winnie the Pooh one. But it fell off the buggy and I lost it. We retraced our steps and just couldn't find it. So when I went to get him another one, they didn't have any Pooh Bear ones. So I was thinking of, we picked up a Simba because Simba's the same sort of colour. As put and Tigger and another one. I can't what the other one was. And I held them up and he chose. I thought he was going to choose Simba because it was the same kind of colour. And so where is he? Like there's Simba, and there's like Winnie the Pooh. So they're quite similar colours. Was it Nala? It might be a Nala I picked up as well in the baby ones. And um, yeah, he chose Tigger. And he carried Tigger around absolutely everywhere with him. So we got back, he doesn't really cuddle him now. But he's always loved this. Um, thing. <sighs> See what I mean? Oliver's just put all these out of his drawer. And causing havoc. But yeah, this is basically Oliver's room. Oh. He's also got some books, he's got the Winnie the Pooh, Peter Rabbit, Dr. Seuss, he's got his memory boxes. And um, this toy, this cow was the first toy he learnt to work. It was Cow and Gate Cow, because he's a Cow and Gate baby. The um, Royal Mint Teddy, and he's actually got the coins. Oh, they're in his memory box. This, I want to do something this, I'm just not sure what. And then, yeah, he's just got... That's it really, so it's not a very big room and he's got a, because he's going to be a McFly fan, that's no doubt about it. Um, yeah, that's basically all of his room. Oh and he's got a Pinocchio, this was mine for my nephew, but I thought it might be nice being all of his. And just his pictures, but that is basically all of his room. It's a small box, so he's got some toys underneath. But other than that, that's why all toys were downstairs because there's just no room in here. Also, I keep getting a lot of questions about my makeup. I have a lot of it, and it was in here. But Oliver kept pulling things out, and he kept getting, like, you know, my more expensive stuff and just banging it against the glass and he actually which breaks my heart smashed this if i can carefully open it i mean i'm still using it <laughs> but where he just kept getting it and just smashing it against everything so now it's up here out of the way until i can actually figure out what to do with it but i've kind of got my lipsticks i kind of love a collection 
So these cards, I'm, I wear this at Christmas, it's like a glitter one. But these are all the Too Faced birthday ones. There's some I didn't get. Um, but they were just so pretty, I had to get them. This one, I absolutely love. Emily's Nude. And um, Emily Callum's one, her L'Oreal one. This one I wear quite a lot as well. Um, what one's this? Back Talk. And so Back Talk and Unicorn. Back Talk's one I absolutely love. I wear a lot of Kat Von D as well. I love Lolita. This is my favourite. My brushes need to clean, so that's that job for today. Um, I've got my like, liquid lipsticks. Again, a lot of Kat Von D. A lot of Too Faced. Mainly what I have, really. Um, I'll go into a more thorough video if that's what you want to see. Um, let me know. But again, I've got a lot of um, Kat Von D. Um, Urban Decay. Too Faced. The Backdrop palette. I crushed over this for so long. And Primark, oh, it's a Wonderland palette, which um, I thought was really pretty. I've got some Christmas Too Faced ones, and again, the birthday palette, which I'm absolutely obsessed with still to this day. It's more of a crush than one I actually use, but oh, I'm just obsessed. It is so stunning. The packaging is absolutely amazing. Another Christmas Too Faced one. Face powders, again Kat Von D. <laughs> Urban Decay, I've got Too Faced in here somewhere. There it is. Um, foundations, again Too Faced. Another two, this is my absolute favourite foundation in the world. Absolutely love it, but I'm using it sparingly at the minute. And Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. Again, if I'm going somewhere like to a concert or somewhere that I really want my makeup to last and be absolutely flawless, it's very thick, but it's amazing. And this Primark one was one I was talking about last time. Absolutely obsessed with. It's such good coverage. And it was only, what's the price on it? £5. Absolutely obsessed with this. This has got such good coverage again it doesn't last probably as well as the more expensive ones like the Kat Von D or it's meant to be a dupe for the double wear I've never actually tried the double wear but absolutely obsessed with this again L'Oreal concealers primers um BB creams for the summer which I like and D uh, I've got two of these <laughs> my mum didn't get on with it so she gave it to me the better than sex one my absolute favorite this is my this is probably dried out now i haven't used it but i just can't throw it away because it's my last one <laughs> so i'm kind of clinging on to that for dear life but this paradise one by l'oreal i'd say it's probably quite a good dupe for this one for the better than sex but my blushes, my highlighters. Again, this one. I think so dirty. It's such a good. I can open it. Like you can't really see it, but again, if I go to a concert, this that makes you glow. And just lashes. I always buy lashes, but I can never put them on, so they just kind of sit there. I love it. Um, setting sprays. And my brushes, like I said, all my liquid lipsticks, they're all kind of colour coordinated. So I roughly know what I want to grab. What's this? A Primark one. Again, the Primark ones I find last really well. I mean, these Urban Decay ones I don't find last. Um, this Emily Cannon one. I don't find that last. I find I have to top it up quite a lot. But... Um, Primark, I find this last so well. I'm like so impressed with it. But that's just a rough outline. Um, contour kit. Again, best collab. So excited over that. <laughs> Sweet peach palette. So many. Like, so if you want a more in-depth one, just let me know. 
I'll be happy to do that, but everything's just kind of over at the minute because of Oliver. I mean, I've got so many perfumes, nail varnishes, just stuff everywhere. The Body Shop masks, absolutely obsessed with, absolutely love. I think this is a good tie up and sort out. <laughs> this is where my makeup was. But Oliver just kept pulling it out like I said, breaking things, so... And that's just needs tidying up. But yeah, hope you enjoyed that little snippet. Hi. You miss me. just oh shaky hand I'm just putting washing on verso for the day does anyone else find the most random things in their washing basket that their kids have picked up and put in their washing I mean everything I think I lose I find in my washing basket it's absolutely ridiculous <laughs> I lost my hairbrush today for about an hour not an hour that was a huge exaggeration for about 10 minutes and I found it on my bookshelf where Oliver had picked it up and taken it. But a horseshoe? I mean, this is from a, a horse. I did a Camp USA thing in California. And I did the equestrian program. So this is actually <laughs> a horseshoe that I kept as a keepsake. But yeah, I wasn't going to find it in my washing basket. Let me know. Your kids are like, what's the weirdest thing you've ever found in your washing basket or in just the most weirdest place that your kids have moved? <laughs> Let me know, because that, that could be quite funny. I realised, apparently. And it's not very amusing when stuck in the trolley. <laughs> He's just sort of singing and looking down and looking very sorry for himself. He's surprised he hasn't had any... Not having a meltdown at the minute. That's very pretty singing, isn't it? Oliver? Someone's managed to escape and get out. But how cute do his shoes look from my last video? I can't know what to do really. Are you going to help me push? I filmed a bit around there, but not much, just because it's quite hard to try and keep your distance when you're around there. But we got some nibbly bits for our picnic for the services. We got some nappies. We got some things for, because my nan's in hospital, we're going to be um, staying in hers. So I bought some bits to take there, so we've got some food. We're going to need to go to the shops when we're there just for milk and things, but other than that, I've pretty much got everything. I just found it easier to get everything now rather than getting it while we're there because I don't want to spend a lot of time shopping. I just want to go in, grab a couple of bits, milk, um, some stuff for dinners, and then that's it. I don't want to spend my time walking around, taking time up. So um, that's that done. It's quite rainy outside and miserable, but we didn't get too wet, which is good. The main thing is trying to keep Oliver dry. He's trying to lead me somewhere. I can't get up. So now I just need to go up in the loft, find our cases. Where are you leading me? I might go get a drink first, I'm really thirsty. I get so hot in those masks. I think they really need to start putting air con or something on. It's just, we'll go upstairs in a minute. It's just too hot inside. Plus you're breathing out the hot air and it's just sort of circulating. That's the hot air blowing down. It's, it's just too hot. We'll go upstairs in a minute. 
So yeah, I'm gonna go up in the loft now, get some cases, and then hopefully be able to start packing. Just need to finish off some washing first, actually. I can't really pack too much until that's done. But I'll pack what we can. And so that's the next job. Quickly, I got this um, for ten pounds in Asda. It's a shopping trolley. I think it's such a good idea. I mean, you could probably take it in as to as well. So he can fill up his own, or any supermarket, and fill up his own trolley of his, like, little things. I think that's just such a sweet idea. He loves pushing things around. And again, my cousin had a trolley that he kept loving playing with. And I was playing with my friend's buggy yesterday, just pushing it up and down. I thought this would be such a good idea. So anyone that's looking for a trolley, at the minute, £10 in Asda, I think that's such a bargain. So change of plan for the loft is his cot, I'm selling it or trying to sell it. So that's up in the loft at the minute and it's actually blocking where his, where all the suitcases are. So we're going to use bags. <laughs> so see how that goes, but my plan is to not pack food, just get everything ready. Because there's stuff still in the wash and it needs to dry, I can't, I won't be able to pack everything, so I thought if I have a rough idea of what I'm packing, then it should be good. So, dressing gown, he'll need. I don't know, because it's my nan's, I'm not sure about the, um, how warm it is in there or how warm she likes it or I don't want to keep messing around with everything and messing around with the heating and when she comes back because you know like people get the heating on like the perfect setting for them I don't want to keep messing around and she's just like so we've got that I'm going to take his bedding and his blanket anyway it's just it'll have his smell on it and I changed it yesterday so it's unless he um wets the bed again we should be fine so that'll be all I've got a clean one anyway but it'd just be nice to have like his smell to his comfort because he's not going to really understand that he's someone new or where he really is so we've got that in his wardrobe so I brought a pack of a new pack of pull-ups which he has during the day and um so i'll just take that and i'll just take three he has these normal nappies at night so i'll just take three of them because the same time he has them just to hold everything in but i think these are a bit small so i brought a size up in them so i might actually take those ones instead of these ones because I'd rather he didn't sort of but the better ones I've got to keep washing them and again when it's not your own place you feel a bit awkward or I don't anyway so I have no idea what to pack or where to start I know I'm going to take some jumpers but we'll see I'll, I'll catch up with you when I've got a better idea of what I'm doing so this is how we're looking. I think I've kind of got everything sorted. I'm debating. I bought him this, but he's never actually worn it. Because I like him being comfortable in the car. I think there's nothing worse than going on a long journey and not being comfortable. And it feels quite thick and warm. But kind of thin enough that if I've got the heating on in the car it's not going to make him too hot just something comfortable that he can sleep in but something that's still going to look nice and I'm debating this or a pair of jogging bottoms with a long sleeve top so it's got this one and this one And obviously, if you go out of the car, I'd put a jumper on him and a coat. If he 
if it's not raining we're able to go and have our picnic but it's just for the actual sitting in the car so he's comfortable because I know when I'm in the car I don't like um being hot and restricted so I thought it's a, probably a bit better if I'm in this shot as well so yeah I don't kind of want him to be restricted because I like being in a t-shirt or something thin when I'm traveling so yeah I'm debating this or this and some jogging bottoms but we'll see I've also got him if you watched my last video you'll see I got these from Primark which I think will just keep him so warm they kind of feel like the thermal material, but it doesn't actually say what material they are. But, yes, yeah, so it's got them. It's got some, he's got some vests. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. He's got three long sleeve vests. You know, on the day we come, Back, we'll probably be leaving about 10 ish, so he's not really gonna need to wrap up because we're gonna more or less be waking up, getting ready, and getting in the car. So he's got them, he's got some trousers, so he's got these ones which again are quite nice and warm inside, and he's got two pairs of jeans because he's also got two pairs of jogging bottoms. Probably to travel in, if not, he's just got a spare pair to these ones and the black ones. And he's got some jumpers. Again, if you saw my last video, you'll have seen this. And this. Probably not this. I got this from Primark, I believe. Yeah. And this was £6. But I get absolutely... Love this. I mean, these are all going to be oversized. This isn't. This fits in. This is the right size for him. But these will be all oversized. So they'll still be comfortable for sort of longish days and being outside. But, you know, they're just going to keep him warm. And again, this one I was thinking for on the day we come home. If we do go for a walk down the beach or something, it's just something to throw over his top or just if you get something dirty you know what kids are like I'm also going to bring him his um, waterproof wellies and two coats just in case one gets dirty or wet or something he's also got his dressing gown that he doesn't really keep on but we've got it some pyjamas three pairs of pyjamas and some spare wipes, this hair and body wash, which is just easier. My watch I found in his room, as you do. Some fluffy socks, because I'm thinking again, if I'm a passenger, I don't like wearing shoes in the car. I like taking my shoes off, especially on long journeys. I put fluffy socks on and just be comfy, so I'm thinking... I'm not going to put shoes on him, I'm just going to put some fluffy socks on him. And obviously we'll have shoes if we go out. But just to be comfy and cosy. And then I've just got four pairs of just normal socks. So I'll take his welly boots. I'll take his, the boots he was wearing in Asda today that you saw. I'll take them. And those plimsolls that I put in the Primark video they're in my room actually let me go and get them put them in here again this is the reality i've got loads of bags out not knowing what i'm gonna do but these converse type things so that's kind of oliver done it's an organized mess but i know everything is I just need to add in his nappies and everything food I've put on the side in the kitchen so that's already just to be picked up 
and stuff's in the fridge that needs to be refrigerated and then I'll make all that tomorrow make a little um, picnic for us we already had that in the car or if we have that hopefully on the field will be nice but we'll see we'll see how it goes we'll see how the weather goes but that is Oliver done. Also his slippers, his slippers are downstairs. I need to remember them. I've just washed a pair of slippers. I've got so many pairs. I've just washed a pair of slippers. So they'll be dry tomorrow. But now I'm gonna go and figure out what I'm doing. Some organized chaos for me. I've got this long sleeved Primark basic top to go under some jumpers. I've got some jeans and I've got some leggings in the wash that I'm going to drive in just to be, like I said, they have to be comfortable. I've got some jumpers. Again, if you saw my last video, you'll have seen these. Um, so, I don't know which one's going to be for coming back yet. Might be possibly this one. But we'll see. And over here, excuse the footstool, I needed it to get the bags. <laughs> I'm down up there and I need it open just in case I need some more. But I'm going to take this Primark Basic black top and my McFly jumper. Just to be comfortable. Uh, I'm going to go in my vans because what's more comfortable than that? These black boots, I've just taken... <laughs> So, like I said, it's a, it's an organised mess right now. I don't know the other one. Oh, the other one's here. I've just got back, so um, I'm taking my nephew. So you can't really see the lighting's so bad. So I'm gonna take my black boots, my vans, and my wellies. And now I just need to sort my makeup out. So Barney, can you get off my case, please? Thank you. Um. <laughs> Sorry about that. Dogs, what are you going to do? I need to sort out my makeup, what I'm going to take. And once I figure that out, I'll let you know. So I thought it was probably easier to just film me as I'm doing it. So I've got some travel things that I always take anyway. Um, so I've got some body butter, some body wash, face wash, a little perfume hand cream spot clearing cream so they can go in there and I think I will take this foundation like I said earlier I just absolutely love it so I think that one will take um, I only really need one I'm trying to figure out how best to hold this. I'm thinking a Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And probably if I can find it. My normal one. So I have a lighter one for under my eyes. And uh, my actual skin coloured one. So I think I'll take those. Or should I just take my actually... I've changed my mind. I might as well just take my Too Faced because this actually has coconut water in it and it helps keep your skin hydrated. And when my skin's so bad at the minute, that might actually be the one. I'll probably take my Hangover Primer, again Too Faced, um, L'Oreal Brow Products. mascara I'll probably take this L'Oreal one and some tweezers because you never know let's put them there um my contour palette yeah I can't really be without that and then oh I don't know this is where I struggle Again, if I took 
my Urban Decay back chalk palette. There is just no room. So that's all of a push in there that's still behind me. We've got these highlight shades and all these absolute gorgeous colours. Be careful, I see you. Yeah, I see you. You be careful. Clever. I was grabbing onto my top to be like, Mummy, Mummy, look at me. So, yeah, I'll probably take this one, actually, in my back chalk palette. Absolutely love that. And it's got highlighters in it as well. Mm, I don't really want to take my broken Too Faced one. So, I'll take this Body Shop blusher. Satin spray. My problem is, this Too Faced one is broken. The squeezy, the pump bit on it's broken. And my Open Decay one sprays really weird as well. I don't know why. But they just sort of came like that. So that'll be those. What else do I need? Powders, obviously. So... How much is left in here? I know I've got a pan. I don't think much. No, that makes me so sad. So I might take... Here's block the door. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Get around? Oh, I love how you've put my clothes I was packing out here. Thank you so much, Oliver. Oh dear. <laughs> um, yes, I'll take that Too Faced one. And one of these KVD ones. One of these will fit pan on again. Next week, so sad. I think it's this one I haven't. Yeah. So it'll be this one I'll take. Because I like loose powder for under my eyes for baking. And I like the foundation powder for actually um, just putting over my makeup. Might be excessive. Having two powders, but... Okay, that's me. And now lipsticks. Um, my go-to... See, I love this double dare. Okay, did my go-to is Lolita. Oh. Make sure it doesn't focus it on. This is actually my go-to. Sorry. He's not hurt. He's just struggling trying to pull this. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> I just took the footstool and put it away. He was trying to get it over the carpet. Which is what the tantrum was because he couldn't do it. So yeah, this is my go-to. And like I said, I absolutely love both of these. So if we take this one and... You know you don't always fancy a real dark colour. So that's when I tend to go for this one. Which is... Sorry, just the perfect shade of nude. I mean... It doesn't look like you're wearing it when you're wearing it, but you notice if you're not, if you know what I mean. Like, it doesn't last. It's not one that's long-lasting. Well, I haven't found it. Um, it does, but it'll do the trick. So, yeah, I might take those two. My makeup brushes I'm going to clean tomorrow. Um, and I'll just set up my foundation. My concealer, my powders, um, most of mine are KVD, <laughs> or Too Faced, but I need to give all them a clean, and then I've pretty much got everything. I need hair stuff, but I need to wash my hair before then, and I probably need makeup stuff, but again, I'm going to need that. 
So I'll do that probably another day. I'll probably do that Friday morning because I'll probably wash my hair Friday. So I'll do that Friday. So I think that's all I need for the time being. I need, I've got body wash. I need my shampoo and conditioner. And that, but yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed seeing what I'm packing. Just thought I'd show quickly what I'm bringing for Oliver. So he's got this big thick winter coat, which I've put on him once, but he didn't quite get on with it. Because it's so puffy, I think he probably felt a bit claustrophobic or something, but obviously the colder it gets, the more he's going to have to get used to it. But it comes with these really warm gloves. Oh, I can show you. And inside it's all fleecy and this will keep him warm. So I'm just waiting for the, well, it seems to be really turning now, but before he got away with this coat, which I'm still going to bring because it is so warm. So obviously not as warm as a big coat, but it is still really warm. It's more of an autumn coat, I'd say. So I'll bring this and just see how we get on. If we need to switch to a, the winter one, then we will. But, um... Yeah, again, I sized up in this one. I sized up in everything of his, really, lately. Because then... So this is 18 to 24 months, so it can fit jumpers underneath. But again, when it starts getting into spring, and it's that sort of transition between winter and spring, he should be able to get in this again. So I'll bring this and just see how we get on. Again, if you saw my prime. <laughs> You also, you'll have seen this. Again, I got it in 24 to 36 months, so it's way, way oversized. And it's very warm inside. But again, I'm hoping to be able to get jumpers and stuff underneath. I mean, I probably won't need this. It's probably, might be a bit too cold and windy for this. But we'll just see how we got on. I'd rather have too much and cater for every occasion than not have enough. I'm going if it's really cold, this with a coat. Again, you know, it's all catering for everything, really. And his waterproofs that he's got. And it's all waterproof inside. And let me just it this. It's all the waterproof material inside and it's big enough to have things underneath it. So like his jumpers and things. But if we're on the beach and it's kind of been raining, which it probably looks like it might do this with his welly boots. It'll keep him dry, keep him warm and he can still play in the sand. So again, that's the plan for those. I'm taking his shoes that you saw earlier and the Asda. And again, the Primark horse. I'll be taking these ones. He walked, I kind of wanted to test him in these today because they are a bit big. But he seemed to walk fine in them. So again, these all, because they're fleecy inside, will keep him warm. And I'll be taking his hat as well. So he should be sorted. I've got my jumpers and I'll take my coat, but I don't have my car with me. I'll probably take this coat. I'll say in the car, it's all going in the car, but in the back seat with him so that it's easier to grab when we go out. Again, if it is too cold for this, then I can switch to this one. It's fine, but I've got I've got everything on his covered. The only thing I need to pack now is my pyjamas that are in the wash, which um, I can do that tomorrow. My wellies, my shoes, but I'll probably just chuck them in the boot when I pack my sort of things like, you know, shampoos and stuff and the food. But again, I don't want to do the food probably until tomorrow night. So it probably won't be in this vlog. It might be in the next one. But we'll see how it works. So I'm going to end 
the vlog here, I look an absolute state. You can tell it's the end of the day. And my makeup and everything is just... Anyway, so I'm going to end that there because it's pretty long anyway. And I don't want to make it too long. So I'm going to do a travel with us next. So I'll film like going down there, I'll picnic and I'll film while I'm in Burnham. Just so you can see a holiday really. Share it with us, come with us. So I'm going to probably film what we're what I'm making, what I'm packing. I'll probably do that when I make it, which will be probably Thursday evening, but that will be in the next one. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support and comments and likes and subscribers and everything. I really do appreciate it. It really does mean a lot. And if you're watching this and haven't subscribed, why not hit that button down below and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss our holiday miss what we get up to i mean i'm going down there like i said to see my nan because she's broken some bones she had a nasty fall but you know while we're down there we're still gonna have some fun it's still gonna be the beach it's still gonna be um see my dad and everything so yeah like i said um come with us i hope you enjoy it i hope you enjoyed this one give it a like if you did and i'll see you in the next one bye